Friday, September 13, 2013 Happening now Vertical Line Disasters Hit to States Vertical Line Colorado and New Jersey Vertical Line Happening now Blog Shows The Healthy You and Carol Alt America Live Hannity America's News HQ Happening now America's Newsroom Huckabee Cavado Justice with Judge Janine Fox Files Media Buzz Red IW Flash Gutfold Fox News Sunday Special Report Fox and Friends First Specials Fox and Friends Studio B Fox and Friends Weekend The Cost of Freedom The Five Fox Report The Journal Editorial Report Geraldo at Large The O'Reilly Factor Greta War Stories Watch Now All Times Eastern Web Shows Fox News Channel Fox Business Network. Login. Welcome. Profile. Lord out. Home. John Scott. Generally. Heris Faulkner. Blog. Happening now. America's asking. Friday, September 13, 2013. Happening now. Disasters hit to states. Colorado and New Jersey. Posted by Clint Henderson. Vertical line. September 13, 2013. Print. Email. Share. Comments. Recommend. Tweet. Lots of disasters to talk about today. Flooding remains a major problem in Colorado today. Boulder City is calling for thousands more evacuations as a nearby creek began rising to dangerous levels. Flooding has already killed three people and caused widespread damage in the area. More rain is forecast. Flooding has hit an area from Wyoming to most of Colorado including Denver, Fort Collins, Greeley, Aurora, Colorado Springs and of course Boulder. Alicia Akina reporting. The massive fire tore through the sandy wrecked Jersey short yesterday. The fire is mostly out, but firefighters still tamping down the smoldering wreckage. More than 50 businesses were destroyed. A six-block area was burned. At one point the fire reached 10 alarms, and destroyed a large section of the boardwalk in the just rebuilt seaside. NJ Governor Chris Christie said the fire made him feel like he wanted to throw up. James Lee Earhart and Rick Leventhal reporting. Steve Harrigan reporting on the booming sinkhole repair business. Amy Kellogg reporting on an attack on a U.S. consulate in western Afghanistan. Greg Palcote has the latest on the Syrian civil war. An international human rights group today said the Syrian government has executed at least 248 into Sunni Muslim towns in Syria back in May. Just the latest in a long list of atrocities. Secretary of State John Kerry is meeting with his Russian counterpart for a second day of talks in Geneva on what to do about Syria's use of chemical weapons. Syria has said it will give up its chemical weapons and join an anti-chemical warfare UN treaty, but so far details have been hard to come by. President Obama is meeting with the Emir of Kuwait today. There is a huge battle in the Congress over raising the debt ceiling, and the two sides are looking far apart. Speaker of the House John Boehner is reportedly seeking Dems help in finding a solution. Part of that battle is over health care. Some conservative Republicans want to defund it. At the very least, some want it delayed by a year. President Obama's team says it's a non-starter in negotiations. Meantime, the White House now says the health care exchanges are ready to roll on October 1st. For more news follow me on Twitter at Clint Fenderson. Tags. Blog. Print. Email. Share. Comments. Recommend. Tweet. You must log in to comment. View the discussion thread. Advertisement. Popular posts. Most read. Most commented. August 2, 2013. Friday, August 2, 2013. Happening now. Epic battle shaping up over Obama care. Warning on terror attacks. July 19, 2013. Friday, July 19, 2013 Happening now, Detroit bankrupt, U.S. Baking July 26, 2013 Friday, July 26, 2013 Happening now, Manning, Bulger, Ariel, Wiener, Hernandez All making news today, Parade of Heroes Not July 30, 2013 Tuesday, July 30, 2013 Happening now, Awaiting verdict in WikiLeaks case Ray All Housewife in Ray All Life Trouble. September 12, 2013. Thursday, September 12, 2013. Happening now. Putin lectures U.S. Humiliating period for U.S. Press Obama.